The city of Denver set a goal to make all of its creeks and rivers swimmable by the year 2020. Don't go jumping in the South Platte now. It's still super grody, but the people working on water quality insist it's getting better. The South Platte River is an urban river. Everything that's on our streets, when there's a storm, it washes directly into the river without being treated. My name is John Novick. I'm a senior environmental program administrator for water quality with the Department of Public Health and Environment, and I work on water quality issues. We're trying to make people aware of the risks. Um, we do monitor down here uh, weekly. So we're collecting an E. coli sample. It's one of our main indicators of water quality in the city, and this kind of gives us just some basic field readings. But we still see pretty high levels of E. coli, which is a bacteria that can make people sick. I'm out here picking out uh, glass and trash out of the uh, river. I swim in it. I know the city says it's not safe. I would not recommend that people swim in the South Platte River. Uh, I'm not too afraid of E. coli. Bacteria levels are above health-based criteria. Um, people who get into the water, they can become sick. Um, if you have any open cuts or wounds, you can also get infections. So it's really not a good idea. Boating, like if you want to go down in a kayak or on a raft, that's fine. Wading is okay. So the city has put a lot of effort into improving water quality. Everything from looking for cross connections and, and illegal connections with the sanitary to developing um, green infrastructure facilities, which are intended to treat stormwater runoff. We'll just place it right down. We'll collect all our field readings. They have been very effective, but still not effective enough to improve the water quality to where it needs to be for safe recreation. All yours. You know, the results are incremental. So yeah. the more we do, the better it will be. So there are risks to recreating in the river here. 